Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and welcome to another episode in James DIY Garage. If you're new to my channel, I'm James and behind me is my 2014 Maserati Ghibli SQ4. I bought it in October 2017, it had 53,000 miles on it. Now it has 85,000 miles on it. I put a lot of mileage on it since I've owned it in the last four or five years, almost five years. So, if you're not new to my channel, you know who I am, you know what this is and you all about me. But if you are new to my channel, please check out all of my videos, whether you're new or not, check out all of my videos in my channel. And please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. So in today's video, I'm gonna be changing the fluids on the rear diff, front diff, and the transfer case. And here's the plan. Okay, here's the uh, fluid charts. This is the front diff here. It takes 1.3 liters of synthetic axle lubricant, SAE 75W90. And that's what this here is, 75 w 90. I will post a link to all the locations where I got my materials to do this. If you're watching this video a couple years from now, the link will probably not be any good. So I apologize for that. I have no control. Okay, the next one is the front differential, which takes less than half a liter, according to this, and it's you're supposed to use Shell TF951B. Uh, we don't, we can't get a hold of Shell TF951B here, but this is the same stuff here, sold by Porsche. Um, this stuff smells. I sniffed it. This stuff smells a lot like the uh, um, the rotor damper oil that they use in the CH46 C Knight helicopters. I remember when I was from when I was in the Navy. Uh, this, this smells just like it. Anyhow, transfer case takes a little over half a liter and it uses Shell TF0870 and that's what this is right here. Again, I'll post a link to where I got all of this stuff. So I've got enough of it. The front differential takes 1.3 liters. I've got three liters of it here. <laughs> got more than that. I couldn't get it any, uh, I couldn't get just two. They came in either one or three. So there's a, that's all I can find in there. So I've got my fluids ready. The, uh, go, the object here is I'm going, since I only have one dispenser, I'm going to have to uh, rinse it each time I use it. So I'm going to start off with the one that uses the least, which is going to be the front differential. So I'm going to use the front, do the front differential first, then the transfer case, then the then the uh, um, the, the rear differential. The reason being is I can do this first, then I've got a little bit of this left over. Because I've got a full liter, I'll just pump a little bit out to clear out this from the the pump that I have, and then we should only have this because I don't want to mix these. So same for this. When I use when I put this in, I have more than enough to pump all of this out. You know, to clear all of this stuff out. So there won't be any contamination. In other words, using the next lick the next fluid to clean out the previous fluid from the pump. The bottle I can clean manually. But uh, that's my plan. So we're gonna start off with the uh, differential first. But before we can work on her, we need to put her up on my lift. So much easier to snap it up. As you see, I've got the uh, ratchet on the drain plug. It's a nine millimeter um, hex. I'm going down through the A-arm, the lower control arm, I mean the lower control arm. Some people call them A-arms because they're shaped like an A. Uh, 
So I'm gonna try to do this. with you so that you can watch it. Uh, it wasn't hard to undo. Looks like it's got lock weight on it. I got the drain vessel right underneath it. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Up, off of the ratchet. Oops, gravity. Uh, there we go. Let's see if I can finish. Removing it by hand. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, here it comes. Let's see if I'm getting it in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, almost. Oh, there we go. It's going in there. A little bit. Miss it by a little bit. This is what the plug looks like here. Smell it. Hmm. That's not bad. And this is the front differential here. <laughs> we'll just let that drain. Then, while we're waiting for it to drain, oh, okay. we should probably undo that plug too. Let's do un undo that plug. Let me put, set this aside because I want to inspect it and clean it. Put that right there. Go back over here. Got a rag. Put that all over my fingers. <coughs> Looks like it's almost finished draining. But we'll get that fill plug undone. My, what I'm thinking about doing, since it looks like the, looks like there was um, some kind of te um, Teflon coating on that to keep these from leaking, I'm going to put regular Teflon tape on these. It should hold. <sighs> so, hang on tight. Let me get set up. Okay, I'm now on the fill plug. See it? Yes, you can see it. Okay, let's undo this fill plug here. Here we go. I think it's finger loose. No. I think it's finger loose. Okay. Let's get the it down. Take the full plug off. Here we go. And this is what the fill plug looks like. It's not as dirty as a drain plug. So now my plan was to stick the borescope up in there and take a look inside. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick the borescope up in there and take a look and see what's inside. I'll share, I'm just going to take pictures because uh, I have to do it with my phone and I'm recording with my phone right now and um, you can't very well see me doing it so. so I'll share the pictures with you. Okay, let's take a look and see what's uh, on this drain plug. This is, I'm going to do this the totally unscientific um, way. <laughs> I'm going to wipe it on this mat, uh, mat here. And, oh, there is a magnet here. There is a magnet on this. Sweet. So, let's take the mag. There's a magnet. You know there's a magnet on here. It's so dirty I couldn't tell. That stuff is stuck to the magnet. I don't see any chips though. No chips, I don't feel any chips. But let's see what's in the fluid. 
okay? So I'll clean this up better. And that's what it looks like. It's just dark, um, grayish. Oops, my finger is in the way. You see that uh, orange stuff there? I think that's, uh, oops, there's a, one of my dog's hairs. <laughs> dog's hair gets all over the place. I'm gonna put the lock, um, what you call that? The Teflon tape on this to seal it off. So, we'll work on that. This is the, uh, they look identical, they are identical. Yes, they are identical. So I just guess it doesn't matter what side, which one I use where, I can just remember. This was the one in the, the this was the drain plug, this was the fill plug. All right. Okay. So let's go get the fluid and uh, test that out. Okay, looking at it through the light, um, you can see some stuff in the bottom, but I think that's more uh, dirt than. Well, let's get the mag. Where's my mag? There it is. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when I put this magnet through it. I'm just gonna. I'm not going to touch the bottom. I'm just going to put it in. See what it picks up. Pretty strong magnet, so. Doesn't pick anything up. There's nothing on that magnet. And I'm dipping it pretty far down into the fluid. And I'm not picking anything up. Nope, there's nothing, so that front dip is good. Okay, I have my uh, drain plug and my fill plug wrapped in subtle silicone tape. Just a little bit, keep it from leaking. And I've already added this. This is the right stuff to my, my uh, dispenser bottle here. So I'm going to put the drain plug in, tighten it up, fill this until, the, uh, till, the, till it overflows, and then put the cap on and we're done. Okay. All right then, let me get set up. Okay, I had to start the uh, drain plug by hand underneath the car because I couldn't do it from here but I can tighten it up from here I don't know what the torque is on these I'm going to uh, better finish tightening that up by hand I'm going to uh, gravity. I'm going to uh, guess guesstimate my best I'm sorry, you might not be able to see. Let me get another extension. Twist it. Okay. I'll have to take the extension off if I can use the ratchet. But, uh, Dang, I have a hard time twisting my finger here, too. So, I guess it's tight enough for a ratchet now. So we'll use a ratchet. I'm having to do this with one hand. How do you do this? Uh... Ray, Ray, another YouTuber. Does this kind of work using one hand? I am not an experienced mechanic. He is. <laughs> Dang. There we go. Now let's grab the grab. Gotcha. 
There we go. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Yes, you can. I think that's where it was before. Mm. We'll see if it's uh, if it leaks. I'll just tighten it up some more. But that looks like where it was before. So now we put some fluid in there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed. No, I'm not. I can able to do this one-handed. There's no way. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to do this off camera. I'll let you guys know. Basically, you fill it until it starts coming out. When it starts coming out, then you put the cap on. Okay, I got the fluid in until it drained. You can see there's fluid been draining down in there. And uh, I, there's a lot of fluid in there, as a matter of fact. I could probably put that back in this bottle. But uh, this is how much I put in, plus what's ever in that drain. I'll put this back in the bottle so that in case I do have a leak and I can put some more in. <laughs> so I threaded, hand threaded the uh, fill plug in already, and then we're getting, we're tightening it in. See how tight this one is. Okay, that one's tight. They're both tight. Get this back on there. Maybe give this one another click. Click. Okay, they're both about the same. Get a rag. Come on. Wipe it all down. I get underneath, wipe it too. I get a flashlight and inspect it. And then we're we're done with front diff. Hunky dory. The next day. Well, uh, between setting up camera equipment and figuring this out and figuring that out, it took me uh, quite a few hours yesterday, all the time I had yesterday, which was Saturday, to finish the front diff and uh it's a new day today it's, it's sunday so since i pretty much know what i'm doing i think <laughs> remember this is the first time i've ever done this so um we're going to start doing the the uh, tran the transfer case now and then the rear diff okay something to note the transfer case doesn't have a drain port just the fill port. So you have to open the fill port and you have to pump the uh, siphon, the, the fluid out, as much of it as you can. So that's why I bought this. So this has, I tried to find one that I, that I could use with uh, house power, you know, 110 volt, but they, I couldn't find them that were this, as cheap as this. So this uses, this plugs into the car's battery. Okay? And of course, Working underneath the car, it's this little short thing isn't going to reach up to there. So what I did is I got a jumper cable and I connected this to the jumper cable and I covered these up with cloth and uh, zip tied it up so that they don't, you know, um, touch each other and short things out because that's pretty close to my UCM. <laughs> There's nothing there protecting it. So um, that's why I did that. So the jumper cable goes all the way up into here. And I have I have it temporarily uh, tied off there so that it doesn't accidentally come loose. I don't have it connected up yet, not until I get ready to do it. But uh, there you have it. That's how I'm going to drain 
Oh, one more thing. See how I got this tape to this thing here? I don't know how powerful this pump is. So I'm hoping that this isn't gonna just make a mess, but we'll find out. I might try to adjust this so that it's pointing this way so that it swirls. So we'll find out. <laughs> if I make a mess, I make a mess. I've got cardboard underneath there, so that'll be where I'm working. That'll be, I'll put that where I'm working. So let's get started. Okay, this is the transfer case here. Here's the plug. That's a fill plug. There is no drain plug on this. So, get myself comfortable. And that's killing me. So we're going to take the fill plug out. <clears throat> I had previously. I'm not sure if this is going to fill or not. Let's see. Oops, yep, it is. So let me bring the bottle pan uh, over here to drain. I may accidentally knock the camera over, I'm not sure. There we go. Hmm, not much. There's no magnet on this one. So we're going to try and drain this with this pump, as I mentioned earlier. If I can get it in there, right? Oh boy, I had the feeling that was gonna happen. I'll do this off camera. This is too crowded down here. Transfer case fluid, and I'm gonna fill my bottle up. Ooh. portion I'll put back in here so we can see how much was actually used. Okay, this off here. Down in there. I did clean this as best I could. And to make sure that uh, we're not going to be pumping any um, of that See this fluid, the uh, front dip fluid in there. I'm going to pump a little bit into here. Two, two, three. So that should be the trick. All right. So let's go underneath the car. You just have to pause it, huh? Okay, that's what the uh, fill plug. Looks like with the cap off. Here's the cap. And by the way, it is a um, it is a 14 millimeter hex to get it off. Just thought I'd mention that. Giggity. <laughs> you can tell I've been watching some other mechanic YouTube channels. So, uh, there's not much room underneath here. So I'm gonna have to do this off camera. But basically, I've got my bottle here with my fluid. And I'm going to pump said fluid into said hole until it drains. And then I'm going to cap it off. That's the plan. I'll let you know how it went. Be right back. Okay, you guys are going to, there's 
plenty of room underneath this side. There's the uh, filler cup or the, the filler plug. Here's the drain plug, and I've got my container here. Assuming, according to the manual, this contains 1.6 liters, which is about six and a half cups. This is eight cups, probably backwards because I'm using that reverse. Um, so we're going to undo this. There we go. That yeah, wasn't that tight. I want to turn this up. We should have done this first. There we go. Are these the same? No, they're not. Oh, shit. I put my hair into the, into the stream here. <laughs> Okay, we'll just let this drain for a little while. Okay, here's the drain plug. And there's quite a bit of crud on this. I think this has a magnet on it, pretty sure. But uh, we will uh, take a look and see what is actually on here. I'm gonna wipe this off here. Wow, <laughs> pretty duck stuff. But, Feeling it doesn't feel real grainy, hardly at all. Maybe a lot like toothpaste. So yeah, I think that doesn't look bad. This doesn't look bad at all. About the consistency of toothpaste. Maybe, uh, maybe your, uh, um, like the comet when you mix it up, like comet scrubbing paste, scrubby cream, or I don't know. So, yeah, I don't think it's bad. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me what they think of it but uh, I don't feel any really I don't feel any big pieces or anything in here there's no big pieces on it nope no big pieces I don't feel any big pieces at all on here this is all like a pasty substance Hang on just a sec. This is the biggest piece I could find. Uh, and I'm, I'm zoomed in quite a bit now. <laughs> this is the tiny, uh, this here, where did it go, where did it go, where did it go? go? This is the biggest piece I could find. It's pretty small. Though. I had to dig this out, um, and here, for perspective, here's my finger. <laughs> pretty big, huh? 
my finger is pretty big compared to that. That's the biggest one I could find. Other than that, that's it. Just this one little shard. Where'd it go? Oh, it's still on my... Still on my thing here. I'm going to lose it if I'm not careful. There it is. Where'd it go? There it is. Hold on, sweetheart. Where'd it go? There it is. There. This is a 12 times zoomed in. 12 times. That's how big that is. I zoom all the way out. Now you can't even see it. <laughs> it's there. So, where'd it go? Yeah, there it is. Zoom in on it. Zoom in on it. Let me go as far as I can. This is 12 times zoom. Whoops, where'd it go? There it is, yeah. 12 times. You can see the, the pores in the cloth here. <laughs> That's how small it is. Zoom out. Zoom out. Come on. There we go. Okay. So it's pretty small. Perspective. Here's my finger. So it's pretty small. This thing here. Little. That's the biggest one I could find. I couldn't find anything else. That's what was in the fluid. There may be some more in the bottom of it, but uh, I don't know. In the bottom of the dip. But I don't think, I think we're okay. So what I neglected to do with the transfer case is I forgot to take a look inside. But the fluid looked really good with the transfer case. So I'm not gonna sweat, I'm not gonna sweat the transfer case. But the, uh, Rear diff, because of that, I'm gonna go inside, I wanna take a peek inside the rear diff and see what's going on in there. These, the crush washers on here seem to be okay. I tried to, I, I, I tried to see if the crush washers on for the oil drain were the same size. The crush washers for the oil drain are a bit bigger than this. They won't quite fit. But, and these have a, a rubber uh, seal around them, around the inside of it. So, as you can see here, and if you look on the, around the, the perimeter of the plug, you can see it black. That's, that's a rubber seal there. And the rubber seal seems to be okay. It's not, um, it looks okay. I'm gonna reuse these crush washers because I didn't order any. I don't know if I can order them. But at any rate, I probably can in area, but I didn't think about it. I didn't know they had crush washers. I'm doing this for the first time and learning. If it leaks, I'll buy some more of that stuff and swap it out again and replace the push washers. Ta -da. So here's the transfer case fluid. That stuff's pretty dark. And now we're going to do the magnet test. Let's see what happens. I gotta put my hands down deep into this stuff. In order to get up some of this gunk. I can see I can feel there's gunk on the bottom of bottom of it. But let's see if we get any big chunks up. I can worry about the gunk. Just the big chunks. I should adhere to it right away. Ooh. Look at all that gunk. Okay, hold on. I need to get something to Okay, I'm gonna get something to wipe my, my hand off here so we can examine these results here. I'm just looking for big gunk, not the uh, big chips, not the, uh, I don't see any offhand. I see a lot of small stuff. Just a lot of small stuff here. That's about all I see. Oops, I'm sorry. I see a bunch of small stuff. I think that's normal. Normal wear. Okay, no, that was just uh, the same gritty stuff that I found on the, the paper towel earlier. That's all that is. Just the same gritty stuff, toothpaste-like stuff. 
that's in the fluid. So that one piece I found was the biggest piece and I haven't found anything inside the fluid. I took some pictures of the inside of the transfer case. So I don't really know what I'm looking at, but or whether it looks good or bad, but uh, I'll post them um, in the video and you guys can take a look and tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this stuff too. Um, it's just gritty. Uh, I don't think I need a new differential. Just the fluid needs to be changed. Okay, I'm going to attempt to uh, video this. I need two hands, so I've got it on a, I've got this, uh, my camera on a tripod, a small tripod here. And I'm going to maneuver myself into position. You can see the uh, fill stop right here. And I've got my fluid right here. They're pumping until it flows out. Get ready. I'm not underneath it. I will just keep pumping. Probably have to fill up once because this doesn't hold the whole guy. 1.6 volts. I probably have to fill this bottom up one time. So I'll just keep doing this. And I'm just before I put the cap back on, when it's going out, I'll turn the camera back on. So, see you in a little bit. Okay, here we are. Just stripping now. Let me put one more pump in. A couple more. Alrighty. Let me get this thing out. Oh, here it comes really good now. So the wire is going to drink a little bit. It's going pretty good now. Let's <laughs> let it drink a little bit. It's just draining on the card board. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to tap it off. Yeah. Okay, get on the cap. There we go. Stop. Yep. Tighten it up. Not too tight. That's good enough. Click. Drag again. Down. Down. I'm going to have to be able to look at it to see if it's leaking later on. In about a week, well, uh, next weekend, after driving it around for a little bit, I will take a look underneath. I have to put it on back on the lift. Let's see how she's 
Lincoln, Ascension Lincoln, or if she's holding up both the rear diff, the transfer case, and the front diff. So make sure none of them are leaking. Don't wipe up any. Make sure it's completely dry. Well, if it is leaking, I can tell. This will be easy to look at. Well, okay, we're done. It's torqued. Whew. Let's finish up this video. Well, I've finished the rear diff. Rear diff was by far the easiest one to do. There's more room down there. In the, uh, the front diff, remember you have to take the front tire off in order to get access to the plugs. It's uh, really hard to get access to the plugs from underneath. And uh, you'll put your, your uh, ratchet, you'll, you'll be able to use your ratchet, you'll have leverage if you do it between the, uh, um, the, the lower control arm and the frame. Um, the transfer case, was, uh, I apologize, I uh, neglected to get, uh, take a look inside. But, you know, the fluid on the transfer case looked really good. It's the rear diff uh, that uh, the fluid, uh, I don't know, I'm not an expert on this. If you guys, if there's any of you out there that have done a rear diff before and you know what it looks like, let me know if your rear diff looked like mine did. Um, for that matter, if the fluids on, uh, on all of these look like yours did. With 85,000 miles on it, I would expect the rear diff to have the most wear since um, the way we drive our cars, it uh, takes the full brunt of the, the power that our cars have. <laughs> so um, yeah, it, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed doing the work. I really enjoy working on this car. It's easy to work on. The car is really easy to work on. It's not rocket science. It's, it's a Maserati, but uh, as I said, it, this, the Ghibli especially, is really easy to work on. I enjoy working on this car. I mean, spark plugs, right there. You just pull the cover and they're right there. You don't have to take a bunch of crap off to get to the spark plugs. Um, serpentine belt, yeah, you gotta pull this up and then these boxes. Or you can get to it from underneath if you um, get to the crank from underneath. But the serpentine belt can be a pain in the butt. Um, coolant, changing coolant, you have to remove the front bumper. Changing the headlight, you have to remove the front bumper. Pretty much everything um, here up front, you have to remove the front bumper to get to. But fortunately, the front bumper is easy to remove. I've done it several times. So this bumper has been on and off more times than I can count. Um, and it's nice and solid. I just be careful, don't, don't forget to get these here. Uh, the screws, don't forget all the screws because if you try to pull it off with, and you still have screws, you're gonna break it. So other than that, I'm finished. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing. And please smash that like button that uh, helped get me up in the ratings and get my uh, channel out to more you viewers and help me financially as well. Thank you very much for watching. Now it's time to get it off the jack or get, get, get it off the stand, my, my lift. Get it off my lift and take it for some paddle time. About a week I'll check to see how they're, if it's leaking or not. Bye.